Nice one, cool dudes. We are in Faversham on the last day of our Augustine Camino, which we're finishing in Canterbury. And what better place to start than at the beautiful Premier Inn. Carlos is still with me and he is a bit concerned that he might look like a zookeeper in his um, shirt and trousers combo. I've assured him that he doesn't. All right, anyway, we've got about 12 or so miles to go. Good luck everyone, especially me and also Carlos a little bit. Some terrible busy roads there, cool dudes. You might be wanting to know why we didn't walk back to where we started last night, but we walked through past the route at night time to the hotel. So we just thought we'd meet up where we left off. So we will be completing it all. Meanwhile, would you like a quick Faversham fact? Yes, you would. Faversham used to be known as the um, centre for explosive making in the UK until tragedy struck in 1916, when an explosion at a factory killed over 100 of the local residents. So terrible. And that's when it stopped making that sort of stuff. The beautiful, relaxing Augustine Camino by the M2. There are so many vineyards and orchards all around this part of the country. And at the place we went to get some food the first night, the Black Horse Inn, there were pictures of all the old hot pickers who used to come from the East End during the summer or autumn when it was, and just pick hops as part of their holidays and then go back to the East End. Probably rubbish paid job, but the photos were excellent. This is the worst going for a field with a cow and it's young. So in these situations, you have to make sure that Carlos goes first. <laughs> what follows is a visual representation of what happened next. Our two heroes entered the field, at which point the adult cow moved forward, making loud mooing sounds. Carlos immediately ran to the left of Marek and used him as a shield. Luckily, Marek calmed the cow with his soothing words and the two were able to leave the field in safety. We rejoin a slightly angry Marek. The mother cow came right up to us. Interestingly, Carlos instantly went behind me and I said, yes, it's okay, it's all right. I explained the situation and they're happy about it. But what was very interesting was Carlos's behavior then was instantly behind me. Not happy about it. Coward. Enormous coward. noticed that Carlos walks twice as fast after he's had some of his Haribo mix. I'm not sponsored by Haribo, but definitely has a big effect on him. Here's a good sign from picking up dog's mess, scoop the poop. Here's my question of the day called dudes. What would be your motto for, or tagline, whatever it's called, for picking up dog's mess? Mine would be, get it while it's hot. Why not write yours below? I'd love to read them. Nice one. Outdoor Active, which is the tracking app I use, says it is 3.9 miles to Canterbury, which at the current pace means we should arrive in an hour and 32 minutes. Thank you, Outdoor Active. Up there is Big Boy Camp. And here is what it looked like 
around 54 BC. Well, before then, because that is when Julius Caesar came with his troops and it was the first place that he destroyed as the Romans marched upon England. Pretty hot, cool dudes. My trainers have lost their padding after about 500 miles, so I'm struggling a bit on this walk. But the biggest disappointment is we've only got three stamps from two places because all the churches are locked. So it's time for today's challenge. You're going on your own Camino. There are five churches. Only two of them are open. You must get a stamp to pass the challenge. Do you choose church one, two, three, four, or five? Choose wisely, cool dudes. Made your decision? If you chose two, four, or five, unlucky. The church is locked as usual, and you failed the challenge. If you chose one or three, you got a lovely stamp. Well done. Did you pass all the challenges? If you did, congratulations. If you didn't, don't worry. There'll be some more on my next long walk. I'm about to have a heart attack. There it is in the distance, cool dudes. Not far now. Incredible cool dudes. There is a stamp. Excellent. Nice one. You probably heard of Sir Thomas More, who was the uh, Lord Chancellor in King Henry VIII's reign. Anyway, he was executed when he opposed King Henry's divorce, and his head was put on a pole until his daughter retrieved it and took it all the way back here. And it's in a vault underneath the uh, church. And here are photos when they went underneath to look at it. And there is the head in a bag. Nice one called cool dudes. We have completed the Augustine Camino. Today took us six hours, 15 minutes or so, and it was 12 and a half miles. But the spectacular bit was going around Canterbury, Canterbury Cathedral. I can't even say it properly. I'm so blown away by it. Um, even a, a nice vicar man took us in and gave us a blessing. Carlos, do you feel any different having completed the um, Camino? Yeah, maybe. I think uh, maybe it has brought us closer together, Merrick, and uh, I don't know. What do you think? I feel pretty good. I feel exactly the same. You know, just your sort of friend stroke acquaintance. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, inside was incredible in the cathedral, wasn't it? Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. The walk itself is a pretty average walk. So unless you're a pilgrim and it has got religious significance, in which case I don't mean to offend you. Yeah, that's about it. I enjoyed my time. I'm glad I had somebody to do the walk with me. Oh, well, great. Thanks, Merrick. That's very kind, and you're a great company, Carlos. Thank you. Anyway, um, don't forget to join the club and all that business. The prize draw coming up next. Thanks for watching. Hey, and most importantly, stay cool. I can't believe you didn't say to stay cool, Ben. I didn't know. I wasn't sure if I was going to be stepping over your, your line there if you were oh, right. angry about it. I'd happily do it. Can we do one? I, can, I, can we do one where I, I, I also say it then? Is that okay? No, that's it now. All right, bye. <laughs>
also think I'd like to join the club both ways and get the membership pack as well as access to the videos on YouTube and emojis. <laughs> anyway, I've realised I forgot to show you my final stamp tally called dudes. It is a poultry five stamps. The Canterbury one at the bottom is really cool though. Um, in order to qualify to get a certificate, you need to get seven stamps and walk 75 miles. So Carlos and I failed our Caminos. Anyway, it's time for the prize draw. Normally the prize draw, uh, everyone's included and the prize is quite average. But this week, to say a special thank you to the YouTube members, the prize is this, a hand-drawn picture of Bembridge Windmill, which is framed some strawberry laces, mm. a, a magnet, a spotter's handbook, pen, badges and stickers. Who could ask for more? And I'm picking the winner this week from the comment section. And whoever used a red squirrel in their comment could win. Let's see. Random comment generator picker ever. Please pick me a comment. Here we go. Look. Oh, it's pretty good. Gary Brown. I've just checked that comment and Gary's got the red squirrel. So he wins. Excellent. Congratulations to Gary. And I've got loads of postcards done of this picture too, which will go out to new members. All right, that's it. Oh yeah, one more thing. Stay cool.